Hi there. Something happened on my last flight that really concerns me. I almost consider it a safety of flight issue. It's on a longer video and I'll post that link down below in case you're interested. And this is towards the end of that video so I wasn't sure that everybody's going to see it but I think it's important enough to have its own video. I was flying my Mini 4 Pro and I was up at 172 feet AGL or above the ground level. And all of a sudden, a firmware update came up on the screen here, which totally blinded me, and I couldn't see what was going on with the Mini 4 Pro. It was so far up, 172 feet, that it was a dot in the sky. It wasn't like it was down low and it was not too much of a big deal. I feel like I could have lost the aircraft because there was no indication that this was going to happen. It blanked the screen, as you'll see later in this video, and just didn't know what to do because I figured if I hit the wrong button, there are certain things that you can do in an emergency procedure where it shuts the quadcopter down and then it crashes. And that was at 172 feet. I tried sweeping and it didn't work. And I wasn't sure that I wanted to hit the update button because I figured that might just disable the link and maybe shut off the quadcopter. I really didn't know. If you want to go full up, just a straight up shot, no movement, side to side, you just take this control and you push it all the way up like that. But when I was at 172 feet and my screen went blank, I pulled it all the way back like this. And you'll see the little box in the video indicating when that happens. And I got it down so where I could see it and I could manage it. And I figured if it was going to die, then I could catch it or it would hit the ground softly because it was only a couple feet off the ground at that point. And I did the go fly or whatever it was, you'll see it in the video. Be careful with this. I think all you need to do is hit the little blue rectangle in the bottom. You won't have to update the firmware <laughs> as your Mini 4 Pro is in the air, but I think that's a real bad thing. I don't understand why DJI does that. The firmware can wait. So anyway, it's a relatively short video, but I think it's important enough that you probably should watch it because the last thing I want to do is lose this thing or have anybody else lose it because they get the firmware update and don't know what to do. So now we'll go to the video from the start. I've kind of edited it down so it's pretty short and I do the beginning, do the end, but it's the middle that's the most important part. And if you don't want to see my beginning talk and you want to get it right to the point where the warning comes in, I'll put a note down below in the comment section where that exact time is. So this was a different kind of flight. Today I'm gonna to show you go up really high, do a surveillance of a rotation around, and some auto lands, so you get a sense of what that's all about. This was a really enjoyable flight. I hope you enjoy it, and I talk into the RC2 with my little microphone here so we can get some nice clear dialogue in what I'm doing. I'm flight testing this bird, just like I did back in the day with helicopters, fixed wing, what have you. A little bit at a time to get a sense of what it can do. Also, it's a great training regime for somebody that's new, or maybe you're an experienced quadcopter pilot or ex experienced pilot like myself, and you just want to test this out and ring it out and proceed safely to get the most out of this amazing quadcopter. Here we go, RC2 controller recording on. I'm gonna turn on the camera and we're gonna just do a launch. I always do the auto launch. Come down and then we're just gonna climb up. Get up to 150 feet maybe. And then just do a little pirouette. 170. Uh, let's go. Let's see you. Whoa! Oh boy. Now that's interesting. I gotta bring it down because all of a sudden it went into this mode inadvertently. I don't know why. Let's see if I can swipe that away. Come on, give me a break, will ya? No advertisements at this point. All right, so I'm gonna hit the H button. Is that gonna go fly? I'm gonna bring it down even lower because if it craps out on me, 
right now. I don't want to hurt the bird. Okay, so that's weird. Don't... <laughs> DJI, what are you thinking? Putting something up like that while somebody's flying? Are you crazy? Crikey sakes. So we'll bring it back up to 100 feet and just do a survey. 120, 130. 150, 160. All right, and then we're just going to do a survey of the area. I'll bring the camera down, which is counterclockwise, and then just rotate it around, and you can see kind of what the area is. And I'm putting in about half stick now to slow down the... There's all the fields. Very interesting. All right, I'm up there pretty high. I'm going to hit return home. I really like how it sets up the tube and just lets you do its thing. Very impressive. Not that I'm not comfortable flying their bird back. It's reoriented itself to its takeoff position. And you can see the silhouettes. I'm going to have to bump it over a little bit. There we go. A little forward, a little back. All right, we're at six feet, just transitioning, doing it all by, not by the camera anymore, just doing it straight by visual, and right on the spot. All right, so there you go. Very interesting. So what did we learn today? About 14 minutes, 15 minutes on a battery when it's about 45 degrees outside. Precision on this is pretty good. I'm doing something a little different than anybody else probably is that's flying this thing. I'm putting it through a flight test program as if I've never seen this thing before. It dropped on my desk and for some reason I've got to figure this thing out. Today's flight was height and I'm very impressed. Thumbs up and comments always appreciated. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in all sorts of quadcopter evaluations, making and breaking things, designs of all kinds, I evaluate and design sports gear, photography equipment, I even do costumes, cosplay, and props. I just did a whole bunch on the Ghostbusters. That was a lot of fun. Check out my channel and please subscribe because you never know what flight testing you're going to see.